Ciao a tutti, and welcome to this new episode of Dance of the Two Insights. In this new episode, we'll see what is visual attention, why it's so fundamental for artificial neural networks, and how to implement it with the Dance of the Two framework. I'm Vittorio, and welcome to XBN Channel. As always, you can find this notebook in the description below. Let's start first with a little bit of history. Attention has become popular with the so famous paper of the Joshua Benjos team, Neural Machine Translation by Jointly Learning to Align and to Translate. Actually, the idea is so simple. Give the network the capability to focus on what it thinks is more important. And from that on, attention is so ubiquitous. And starting from this paper, attention has become a milestone also for deep computer vision. And you can literally, literally, trust me, build state-of-the-art models using it, like a squeezing excitation network. But how can we implement it with the TensorFlow2 framework? Actually, there are a lot of different ways that you can use to achieve a visual attention, but the two basic ones are channel and the spatial attention modules. And with channel attention, we give the network the capability to fine-tune the channel activation and highlight the most important ones. So, for the channel attention, it's really straightforward. We um, split the input feature in two. One fits the channel attention module and the other one the other one goes like this. The channel attention module is made in the, this way. At the same time, we apply max pooling and average pooling, so we have uh, two different branches. Then we apply uh, the same multi-layer perceptor, so it's a multi-layer perceptor with shared weights. And finally, we can uh, sum these two outputs, apply sigmoid, and we have our channel attention map that has the same dimension of uh, in the channel dimension of the input feature. We can use this feature map to realign the different uh, channels uh, using a multiplication. And the same is for spatial attention. The aim in this case is to give the network the capability to spot interesting areas in the spatial dimension. Again, as before, we split the input in two. One fits the spatial attention module and the other one goes to the output of the module. Then again, we apply average pooling and max pooling at the same time, but to the channel dimension. Then we apply a convolutional layer followed by a sigmoid activation function. And finally, we have our spatial attention map. We can use this spatial attention map as before to recalibrate our input features and highlight important areas in the spatial dimension. So that's the convolutional block tension module. And uh, here's the code to how to implement it with TensorFlow 2. It's really simple and really straightforward with the subclassing API. And, um, and now, what about testing its capability? I made two networks, um, oh, this is the beautiful uh, original CFART and dataset, look at these high resolution images. <laughs> I made two networks, um, very simple networks uh, using the sequential API, one without the visual attention module and the other one using the, um, the channel and the spatial modules uh, that I made before. Then I used uh, uh, GradCam. GradCam uh, it's a um, very simple and very useful tool uh, using this, uh, this library that uh, shows what the network is aiming while making a prediction. And these are the results. So look at it already in the first image, the network without visual attention, it's uh, uh, shooting completely random and it's predicting a bird. A bird. Instead of the other one with a visual attention, it's correctly pointing at the ears of the horse and indeed it's predicting a horse. Let's find another horse. For example, in this other case, uh, the network without visual attention is pointing also at the sky, instead of the other one, it's doing much, much better. 
and uh, who. This one is perfect. In this case, both networks are predicting there's a noise in the image, but the one without visual attention is pointing between the legs. Why? Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and see you for our next episode of Tensorflow 2 Insights.